How can they just leave these tomes just lying around like... Oh, it shivers up my spine, I tell you. Ah, that's Hall of the Dead, right, so we can go there to uh, sort that little problem out. But not yet. I'm still exploring at this moment in time. And over there is probably that place. With all the water sitting the Best steer clear if you don't want a steam centurion carving you up. Chuan Zell, a whole dwarven city underneath Understone Keep. Whoa, it's definitely begging for exploration, really. I can barely take my excitement, but not yet. Patience, good things come to those who wait, I hear they say. And I shall be waiting just a little bit longer, because there's a few more people I would like to see, a few more places for me to explore, and then we can map out what we plan to do. Look, look at the statues. I love it. I love it. And to, to cap it all off, if we kill that spider, we get to go and visit the, the, the museum. I'm going to be hard pressed to find another task in this town that's going to take precedence over this. Not a prayer. Even if the Jarl himself asked me to do something, he'd have to take a back seat. So that's the uh, Kalsamo's, Kalsamo's area, an excavation site. So we'll go take the right hand fork and see what that's all about. Hold. Oh. The Dwemer Museum isn't open to anyone without the court wizard's permission. Ah. Who's a court wizard? Galsimo. He's a Yarl's magical advisor, but he spends most of his time studying the ruins. Uh, oh. If you want in, Galsimo has to give his say-so. He's usually in front of Nishuan Cell, just down the tunnel. Nishuan Cell. You, you say it and pronounce it with such elegance, and I'm stuttering my words. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So Galsimo not only is the uh, excavator of the ruins here, and obviously the author of such excellent books, but uh, he's also the court wizard to the Jarl of Markarth. Well, talk about an important figure around here. Proof that mages have a place in this world, eh? Anyway, let's crack on, shall we? Who are you? Stood there gawping. You there. You another Imperial puppet? Answer me. I... I... I have no... I don't know what you're talking about. There's a war on and you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the Empire is destroying everything Skyrim stands for. Is it? Jarl Ligment can refuse to see me all he wants. The Silverblood family will be hurt. I bet you will. Anyway, I... Uh, did you some, say something about Talos earlier? That's a true Nord hero. A legend. So great that the divines themselves lifted his soul into the heavens and made him a god. He founded the Empire, and now they've turned their back on him to appease the elves. <laughs> elves. Do the elves rule Skyrim, or do the Nords? He's, a, he's not a good. Uh, he's not, not in a good mood, I don't think. And I don't think I'll probe about any elves any further. Not while Berlina stood with me. Stay out of trouble in my city. Your city, is it? Oh, right. He's deluded as well as uh, an angry man. Oh, I love this. I love this. Oh. Kind of just, just a marvel, Belina. Let's go speak with the Jarl and the steward. No, that can't. My eyes can't be deceiving me here. Falmor here? What the hell are they doing walking around like they own the place? I thought I was seeing things. What's this? Daughter of the Nibbon. Nibbane! Nibbanu! Nibbanai! Hello! I'm the Jarl's personal blacksmith, but that doesn't mean I can't sell you a few pieces for a fair price. Uh, okay, I'll take a look what you got for sale. The finest weapons and armor. Do I have anything to sell to you? I don't think so. Oh, I have one of these. Take one of these. 
I'll keep one to see if I can smith it. Oh, an ebony armor as well, but you don't have enough gold, so bye. So, the Yarl's personal blacksmith. Let's have a look up here. Probably the Yarl's personal... You're trespassing here. You better clear out. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Ooh, look at him pushing his chest out. Mr. Big Man there. Oh, who's this? Oh, I don't even want to speak to a Thalmor. Not unless I really have to. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I go and see the Jarl, please? Ah, lovely. You. Huh? Who are you to approach the Jarl of Markarth? Who am I? I I'm just a traveller. Very well. You may approach the mournful throne. But watch your words. Keep your eyes open. Well, that's great security. Who are you? I'm just a mere traveller. Oh, come on through! I could have a dagger behind my back, but he just slit his throat. I, I haven't like, but you... <laughs> oh, this is, looks like a stewardy type. I'm Igman's uncle, as well as his steward. Oh, steward and uncle. I have a delivery from uh, the, the hag at the hag's place. What was it called? I can't remember. Anyway, it's a potion here for you. Oh. Yes. Um, uh, thank you. Here you go. Some gold for your assistance. Thank and you. And your discretion. Oh, discretion is my middle what name. I have many middle names. And you might be the, uh, house carl? As his house carl, Igman's security is my chief concern. Good, good, yes, as it should be. Right, uh... I bow my head to you, my imperial Yarnus. Can I speak to you? You speak to Igmund, son of Orofdia, Jarl of Markarth. Ah. There was an attack down in the marketplace. Did you hear of it? My guards told me. Poor Margaret. And witnesses report that the attacker was shouting some nonsense about being a false one. I want to make things clear. Markarth has its troubles. But there are no Forsworn in this city. Oh. They are only a threat in the hills and along the roads where they live. Everywhere else, we are in control. I see. Did you also know that dragons have returned to Skyrim? Yes, I know. We have some advantages if they come here. The city is built into the mountainside, so it's hard to reach into, even from the skies. And everything is made of stone, even the beds. We'll have no trouble from dragons fire. <laughs> even the beds. <laughs> Uh, you said you have troubles here. Is the war being particularly hard on Markov? It all started here. Oh. This rebellion. When the Empire lost the reach during the Great War, we became desperate. We promised a group of Nord militia free worship in exchange for their help retaking the hold. Then the elves found out about it. We were forced to arrest all of them. Ulfric Stormcloak, their leader, used the whole thing as proof that the Empire had abandoned Skyrim. The rebels called it the Markarth Incident. It was the founding day for the Stormcloaks, and where this war really started. Oh. Well, at least I have a bit of background about this whole war. I've sort of been oblivious to it as I've been, you know, bumbling my way through Skyrim. I have other things to do. Anyway, uh, I suppose while I'm here, I, I could muck in and do some odd, odds and ends around town or in this immediate vicinity. Do you have any work that I could partake in? Are you a cell sword? I don't like your kind. No honor. Huh? No loyalty. Unreliable. I'm not a I'm just I can't turn away a potential ally in these times. Let's see if you're better than a common mercenary. My scouts have tracked down one of the Forsworn leaders, hiding out in their blood soaked camps. Deal with them. Okay. Uh, it will be done, although I'm sure I, sh I should say no after you've just insulted me like that. I'm offering to help you and you bloody insult me as I stand here? Uh, but I shall, yeah, I shall do it. We will see. Oh, oh, I don't like his tone. Uh, oh. Some more questions about the history. So why did you arrest the Nord Militia? The White Gold Concordant. Our treaty with the Elves after the Great War forbids free worship of Talos. But that's what we promised Ulfric and his men. It seems foolish looking back, but at the time we were hoping the Elves wouldn't find out. So when they did find out, it was either we arrest Ulfric and the militia, or enter into yet another war with the Aldmeri Dominion. The choice was clear. 
And now, Ulfric threatens the thinly veiled peace we sacrificed so much for. Well, it looks like being Jarl of Markov is a red headache. So the Empire lost the reach before. How did that happen? When the Aldmeri Dominion invaded the Imperial City, the Legion all but turned a blind eye to the other provinces. Many of the disgruntled natives of the Reach used the opportunity to depose the Empire and founded what they called an independent kingdom. It was little more than a chaotic uprising, but the Reach was removed from Imperial authority for two years before we reclaimed it. But the leaders of the uprising refused our offers of peace. They fled into the hills and became the Forsworn. And so there you have it. The history of this place by the man on the throne. Well, I thank you. I want no mercy for those Forsworn. Understand? Mercy? Do I look like a merciful man? I actually am rather merciful and occasionally, but uh, you should see Berlina. She is a heartless woman. Mercy is not her middle name, that's for sure. Right, uh... Yes, I, I cannot believe there's just Falmar walking around here. The Dominion is here, and we're watching. Oh! whoop de doo You're watching me. I'm quivering in my wee boots here. A door that needs unlocking. And over here... Ooh, what's this? Am I trespassing here? Ooh! It's the first time I've seen a cook with a proper cook uniform. I have to work, or Anton will rip my head off. Hmm. Well, don't let me stop you. Is he the chef? Before you say anything, no, I am not from the Reach. Uh, you're not from the Reach? No, I'm a Breton from High Rock, and I refuse to be mistaken for a filthy native. I'm a I don't care if we share the same ancestors. These people are savages. Half of them are forsworn barbarians. And have you seen what they eat? No. What have I done for the gods to take me so far from my beloved Daggerfall? So you're from Daggerfall? Yes. The finest court in all of High Rock. You think politics here or something? Well, we Bretons invented politics. That is where I learned to cook, and where I belong. Not here with all these dogs. Jesus, he's got a chimp on his shoulder, hasn't he? Giving Bretons a bad name. Although I wish I could cook half as decent as he probably can. <laughs> but never mind, I have Berlina here to cook me some food. Oh, steps, I handy. Defensive from breaking your legs. There we go. Okay, so. Understone Keep has been explored. We have seen Calcimo. I don't know. There is Calcimo's Tower, but I don't know if Tal Calcimo's Tower is reached from outside or in here. It's rather confusing. Dwarven Ruins are dangerous places to explore because of devious traps and hazardous machinery. As we have witnessed before. Especially the machinery, we really do struggle against the machinery. And what is the time? 5.49, which means the shops are closing once again. Why do we always miss out, Berlina? Why? Why do we always miss out? We spend our day exploring and the day just whew, it vanishes into thin air. Quick as a flash, snap your fingers and the day's gone. Okay, so Vlindral Hall is, is I think the, this is the property that you can purchase here in Markov. I didn't ask how much it was, but uh, I'm not interested in purchasing a house just yet. Although we do have a fair bit of cash to spend. And these just appear to be the residence quarters, so nothing really for us to go mooching over there for. I am rather intrigued as to how we get to Calcimo's Tower. Hall of the Dead, yes, fair enough, we can get there. Calcimo's Tower and Calcimo's Laboratory. I think Calcimo's Laboratory is where we were, but Calcimo's Tower is a separate entity altogether. And how we get there is, uh, your guess is as good as mine. I'm just going to try something. No, you're supposed to get on with your job and leave me alone. That's what you're supposed to do, but uh, hey, you failed. 
Cosmos Tower. I think that's... is that it? Am I looking at the right area? I think I am, yes. But how do you get up there? That's the next question. I don't think there is a way up, you know. Do you know what? I think you get to Casimir's Tower through under Understone Keep. There was actually a couple of doors, one of which I think was locked. Where if you open the door, you probably got some steps and, and reach Casimir's Tower from inside. There's definitely no way outside to get there. Okay, so let me get my composure back. So we've explored all the locations that we wanted to explore. The prison. The Hag's Cure. Marcas Ruins is shut. All of the dead, Castle's Tower, Understone Keep. So we have got a few bits and bobs to do, so we're just going to quickly uh, bring up our journal here and see what's going to be up next on our list. The House of Horrors. Not really interested. Let's have a look at the miscellaneous quests. So. Investigate the Hall of the Dead, definitely something we're going to be interested in. Going here is definitely going to be high on our list of priorities, as in we're going to do this as soon as possible. Uh, tomorrow. Which means that we need to find ourselves a, a little quest for us to... It's not going to take too long, that we can just finish off tonight, be back in the inn by midnight, have a couple of drinks, bite to eat and bed. And then tomorrow morning we wake up bright and early and we're going straight to Chinishijanzel. I wish I could pronounce it, but I can't, okay? Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think we're going to continue with the Forsworn Conspiracy. There's some evidence to find. Evidence about Waylin and evidence about Thonar. Now, Waylin, I don't know who he is, but Thonar, I think, is the head of the Silverblood family, is that right? The guy that supposedly runs this city. So we're going to go and take a wee nosy around and see if we can find some evidence to uh, link them to some sort of Force One conspiracy. I think that's how it works. So to do that we need to head over to the uh, District of the Residences. And I'm going completely the wrong way. Hi guys! It's good to have ambition. And at least you're polite and not like the other children in Right Run, the little horrors that they are. Anyway, inside the treasury house. Well, I wonder what we're going to find in here. Ah, El Treasury House. It's French, you know. Uh, hello. Is this the bank? For want of a better phrase. The treasury house is really just for patrons of the Silverblood family. You don't belong here. Ah, really? Well, first of all, lovey, who's in charge around here? You want Thonar Silverblood. He handles all the family business. Yes, yeah, until... If you're here to talk politics, though, you'd want his brother, Thongvor. He spends most of his time in Understone Keep. Ah, I've seen him already. So, uh, well, while I'm here, why not give me a bit of a, a bit of a lowdown on the Silverbloods? It's an old family, very well respected throughout the Reach. The Silverbloods run nearly all the lands in this hold, as well as the local inn. And of course, they own Sidna Mine, the finest prison and source of silver in Skyrim. So they have quite a bit of power, it seems. Uh, and what kind of patrons do you have? For one, the landowners of the Reach. It goes without saying that they rely heavily on us for our silver and support. All the miners, farmers, and laborers in the Reach get their daily wages through us. Nepos the Nose handles that part of our business. He has a way with the workers. A way? Hmm. I don't like the sound of that. But uh, could I could I speak with Thona? Out of interest? I'm afraid he's asked not to be disturbed. He has important business. Oh, come on, please. He's expecting me. 
Oh, I'm sorry to keep you. Head right in. Thank you. We'd hate to keep the man in charge waiting now, would we? I have records I need to do. It seems my silver tongue is getting a bit better. Ah. You just let old Nana know if you need anything. All right, dear? Will do, Nana. Will do. I'm married to Thonar Silverblood. Keep that in mind while you're speaking to me. Well, I'm not going to speak to you. I've got more important things to do, like speak to the man himself, rather than his wife. Hello, Thona. You, I have an important appointment with you, you remember, right? What are you doing here? I told them no visitors. <laughs> well, I am here to talk about Margaret. The Imperial agent. That's right, I knew. How many dogs is the Empire going to send after me? This is my business. My city. You Empire lovers should learn to stay out of it. Hey, don't tarnish me with airbrush. Now get out! Hey, wait a minute, I am not part... What's going on? <laughs>